You're watching Better.TV. The life of the modern mom wouldn't be complete without the play date. Whether you're the busy mom who needs to keep your kids occupied or you're the new mom on the block and you want your kids to all make friends, all moms have the same concerns when it comes to play date etiquette. Well, Yvette Corcoran and Beth Feldman are both authors of Peeing in Peace, Tales and Tips for Type A Moms, and they're here to share their tips on the do's and don'ts to play date survival. Welcome to both of you guys. Hello, thanks thank for having us. How about yes. the title of the book? Thank you, we're hoping you were going to say <laughs> that. How did you guys decide to, first of all, come up with the title and then this book in itself? Was it personal stories that you had? It was, actually. Beth and I are both working moms, and and we worked together in business and we were having lunch one day and we realized that we were both really annoyed at the press, the bad press that working moms get. Oh. You know, it's either that, you know, we want to stay home or we want to go to work, we're never happy, one or the other juggling both. We're like, you know what, we are happy. We have very full lives but we're happy this way. Right. So we decided that we were going to dispel some myths. And just help some of the women out there, exactly. too. They're probably going through the same scenarios that you guys were going through. One of the, the tips that you have there is that good things come in small packages, the play dates, right? This what is, is very mean? true. <laughs> well, especially when you have little ones. You would love to have a play date with a one-and-a-half-year-old and another one. <laughs> and you, it would, you would love for it to last an entire day. But the problem is, is that when they're that little, you've got to do everything in doses. Oh. And the hard part is, of course, are the parents that have older kids with the little ones. So you need Need to to really figure out balance what's going to work, there. balance it out. What's going to work for you? Three smaller a, kids, smaller play dates. Got it. Think about it that way. Easy to remember. Very easy. <laughs> three is a crowd. Who's the three? Three is a crowd. The third is the extra child. My daughter is seven years old, and she's got wonderful friends in school. One other little girl makes a great play date. A third little girl, and the dynamic gets a little skewed. <laughs> little jealousies comes in. I want to play Barbies. You want to play Bratz. Yeah. Whatever. Keep it simple, one-on-one -on -one play dates. I feel work best. Exactly. A lot less drama. Okay, now here, speaking of drama, here's oh, one of my pet peeves. A play date does not mean it's a free babysitting service. Uh, Thank you for putting that in there. You're very yes. welcome. <laughs> I mean, I have to tell you, I have a story where my mom was, was watching my daughter, mm -hmm. and there was one mom on the playground who overheard that she was having a play date with one of her friends, and she snuck over to my mom and said, do you mind if, um, if Sophia comes along? Oh, no. And my mom just was caught off guard. Uh, okay, well, well, Sophia's kosher, and you know it is. Passover and are you keeping <laughs> do you have bread wow. in the house because she can't she's planning the whole thing out yeah. right? <laughs> and we got you know ambushed yeah not yeah. a good thing it's not a good thing for the kids and then the adults yeah. obviously. you know what don't dump your kids on me no. you know it's one thing <laughs> if they want to play with mine I love it bring them over for a couple of hours but I had that it happened to me with a neighbor guy down the street I invited his little son over to play with my daughter and he had the nerve to turn to me and say oh yeah oh, great my wife and I'll get to go see that movie no 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 you right. can't go see a movie on my time. The intro, right, that's we true. Yeah, we canceled the The last two tips that you guys have that we want to talk about today is a little planning goes a long way and synchronize the play dates. Can you explain what those two mean? Absolutely. A little planning goes a long way is be prepared. You know, you don't want to dump two kids in your house and like let them go amok, you know, because then you'll end up with crayons on the wall, you know, Barbie right heads rolling down the stairs. You need to have some activities. I'm not one of those moms who has to be on top of the kids. I don't need to play with them, mm -hmm. but just when you see that it's starting to get dull, they're starting to, you know, yeah. annoy each other, bring out an activity, bring out a toy, bring out some balloons, have something for them to do. Right. It makes sense, too. And it'll keep your sanity as right. well, right? Obviously, it's worked bit. for the time you guys do. <laughs> right. Slightly. Yeah, okay. I love the book. It is funny that from the cover to the end, it's a great book. You guys have to pick it up. And to find out more of Yvette and Beth's great parenting tips, pick up their new book. It's called Peeing in Peace, Tales and Tips for Type A Moms. It's available in bookstores now. Thank you for watching Better.TV. Please email us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together, we'll make your home, family, and life better.